welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies and as promised a follow up video on this Creality Ender 3 S1. Now we have ran some test sprints through this and I've actually had some really good results. Now there are a couple of things you will need to know when using this printer. Mainly that is you're going to need to slightly tweak your attraction settings uh, depending on what filament you're actually going to be using. I uh, did get a little bit of stringing here and there when using TPU. Nothing major. Literally just needed to re-slice it just by slightly tweaking the retraction settings and then the prints came out absolutely fine. So now that bit's over and done with. Usual Beanie's Hobby style. We're going to have a look at all the test prints and then we'll just follow up with my final thoughts on this new printer. So let's get straight into this. Okay, so the following prints have been printed in PLA and TPU. Anything you see that's printed in red is TPU. Everything else is PLA. So might as well start with first things first. Was this vase? Now this was printed in PLA. Printed in vase mode, vase mode. And as you can see, we had absolutely no issues at all whatsoever. Really, really exceptionally good print quality. Came out exceptionally well. Okay, so up next we printed this bracelet. Now this was printed in, like I said, everything red is the TPU. And that also came out exceptionally well. Like I said, we had a little tiny, tiny bit of stringing, but nothing major. You still see a little bit of stringing. One of my cameras being, you can actually see just down here, we had a little tiny piece of stringing. But apart from that, very very good print next up we had octopus yet again printed in TPU all nice and squidgy and flexible also had a little tiny tiny piece of stringing nothing major I say the stringing can actually be got rid of by just slightly tweaking your attraction settings. And then we printed squishy wheel. Now also the inside, the inside part of it which just dropped on the floor is PLA. So this was printed in Stardust Blue PLA, this is the glitter range from Technology Outlet. It's very shiny, very glittery, and it's actually quite cool. And the actual tyre itself was printed in TPU. Nice and squishy. Also came out exceptionally well. Okay, and then because I'm a bit of a little bit of a retro gamer, I like my retro games. Decided to print the N64 logo, display in my games room, and that too came out flawlessly. Yet again, that's printed in Stardust Blue Glitter PLA from Technology Outlet. You can see it's very shiny, very glittery. Actually, a very very cool filament. Next up we had this little robot guy, had a little bit of stringing on this as well but nothing major, but he's also printed in TPU, flexible, bendy, he's quite cool, squishy. So this printer is more than capable of printing on PLA, TPU, ABS, 
any sort of filament you like. Now I do want to quickly just talk about this TPU. Technology Outlet were also kind enough to send it to me. Now this is Easy Print from Prima. This is TPU. Now good stuff about this is if you look it doesn't require a lot of heat. I mean between 180 and 230. I printed all these at 195 degrees. Uh, I did have the bed set to 60 and they came out exceptionally well. This is some really good TPU filament to try. Now if it is something you want to try I will leave an affiliate link down below in the description and I will also leave a discount code for you guys so you can get 15% off this filament or Technology Outlets filament or most filaments that they have on their website. And the last up I printed something more useful which is a stand for my PC Engine GT which also came out exceptionally well also printed in that Stardust Blue PLA really nice clean print so like I said, I've had this up and running for quite some time now and I've had absolutely no issues at all whatsoever no failed prints nothing come unstuck off the bed this actually is a fantastic printer now I'm gonna go as far as saying yes this is the best Ender 3 so far to date I do know there's another one coming out guys it's a pro version of this coming uh, the price for this printer is up there. It's it's in the region of £400, which is not cheap for an Ender 3 range. But like I happened to say, like I said before in the unboxing video, this thing is already quite heavily upgraded compared to her original Ender 3. For one, we do have Dual Z on this printer, and they are tethered together as well, which is brilliant. Do have the direct drive system on this as well. Uh, this new S1 direct drive, the new Sprite, is absolutely fantastic. Uh, it is one of the best hot ends I've ever had to work with so far, and I've had many printers, and this is by far one of the best direct drive kits, not kits, should I say, but one of the best direct drive units to date that I've had the pleasure of working with. Um, we like to say we do have the magnetic build plate. It is just fantastic. It's just an absolute dream to work with. So easy to set up. Obviously it's paired with their new CR Touch, so it makes bed leveling absolute breeze. So if you want to spend a little bit of extra money, I would spend that to get this one over the original Ender 3, because if you buy the original Ender 3, yes it's a lot cheaper, but in the long run, by the time you've added your dual Z, by the time if you want to add direct drive, if you want to add bed levelling, by the time you've done all that, your price is going to be near enough up there compared up, up there with this printer anyway. So you might as well fork out that initial money first to get a decent printer to start off with that you're going to have to do absolutely nothing with. So prints come out flawlessly. Yes, you will need to take a little bit of time and just slightly alter your attraction settings for your different filaments. Um, it does actually come when you buy this printer. It will actually come with a sheet that I did show you when we done the unboxing video. But if you haven't seen that, Crowley are kind enough to supply you with the odd setting for PLA and TPU. And I based my prints off of these and they actually came out incredibly well. Still, like I say, I had that little bit of stringing with the TPU, so a little bit more fine tuning. But apart from that, PLA printed absolutely fine using these retraction settings. So it's not going to be too difficult to suss, guys. It really isn't. It's just a matter of having to change a couple of digits in a box in the slicing software. Um, now, slicing software, I just want to mention. If you're using Cura, yeah, that's fine. But what I've been using just recently is Crality Slicer. Now, it is just obviously a reskin of Cura. But what I like about it is they've gone the trouble of setting all the machines up. So every single machine that Crowley have made, the settings in, are in there for it. So just, just select what print you're using. 
and everything's already preset. So if you are wanting to try it, the new quality slicer, I will leave the link down below in the description so you can go ahead and download that. Give it a try guys, I've been using it now for quite a while and I've had some good results with it. Very simple to use, like I say it's just a reskin of Cura, so if you're used to using Cura, Quality Slice will be no different. But because I use all Quality machines here at the moment, it's quite handy for me, because I could just get a new Quality machine in, like this one for example. Um, just select the machine, Quality Ender 3S1, parameters are already set, good to go. So I'll leave that link down in the description below. I'm also going to leave my affiliate link down in the description below for Technology Outlet. So don't forget to use my discount code BEANIE15 for 15% off filament. And also don't forget to use my discount code BEANIE10 for 10% off the S1, S1 Pro, Ender 2 Pro or the CR10 Smart Pro. So guys, going to stop waffling on for now because you know we do like a waffle. But this is a fantastic printer. Yes, I'm going to say it is the best Ender 3 to date. Print quality is fantastic, absolutely no faults or flaws whatsoever, very simple, straightforward to use. Yes, if you've got the money, this is the ideal starter printer for anybody. It's basically frustration free, it is just click and start basically, you're going to have to have no messing about at all whatsoever. So yeah guys, I do highly recommend the Quality S1. So stay tuned for the S1 Pro review, which is going to be coming probably towards the end of this month because it's not quite out yet. If you like this video, please leave me a like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe. Remember, check down below for all the links. And I'm off, so I will catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!